guys welcome back to another video guys i am showing you how i am prepping my super bowl menu right here i showed you in a previous video everything that i was going to be using so i'm just starting to get everything ready this is my st louis style ribs and i just kind of trimmed it up got that uh silver skin off of the back and i'm just seasoning it up with a little black pepper onion powder and a little Kavanaugh seasoning i know that makes chef jeffrey happy and i'm going to use a little seasoning salt all right and once i get that seasoning salt down then i'm going to come and add a little bit of this Uncle Steve shake. This is the smoke bomb. That's going to give it a nice, good, smoky flavor to it. And I'm not really worried about seasoning that underside too much, but I am going to flip this over. Alright, and I'm going to season this top side, and I'm going to season it a little bit more liberally than I did that underside. Alright, so once I get that all seasoned up, then I'm just going to take my tongues right here and just kind of press those seasonings into my ribs. You know, some people use a little mustard or all of that as a binder, but I don't think that's necessary. These ribs are moist enough that the seasoning is going to stick pretty good. So that's why I, I don't use any mustard or anything like that. Any kind of binding agent. Alright, so this is going to get ready to go in the oven. And these are going to cook for at least two and a half hours, guys, on 350. So once that gets in the oven... Then I'm going to come back and get my wings ready to cook. This is going to be my cherry flavored wings. And I'm just going to add a little vegetable oil to it. Get those coated with a little vegetable oils. Vegetable oil. Get it together, Kenny. And I'm just going to mix that around. Let that oil get coated on all of these wings. Alright, then I'm going to come and season this up some. And that's just a little black pepper. And my onion powder. You guys know I love my onion powder. I got me a big onion powder this time. <laughs> then I'm going to put a little bit more of this. Kevin, this Greek seasoning on here. Alright, then I'm going to add some seasoning salt to it. Alright, then I'm going to come and I'm going to add a little bit more of this Uncle Steve Shake the Smoke Bomb. And I'm going to put this in the oven, guys. I know a lot of people deep fry their wings first, but I actually like mine to go in the oven uncovered for at least about 50 minutes. I just think that gives me a better wing, a nice more tender wing and after looking at it I think it could have used just a little bit more of that smoke bomb so I'm coming in here and sprinkling a little bit more of that smoke bomb over the top get that mixed in alright then I'm just going to dump that on top of my bacon sheet right here my bacon pan 
And I'm just going to get that lined up and spread out so that everything cooks evenly. And you want to get that with the skin side up. That's going to give you a much better uh, ending result with that skin side up. My skin is going to get a little crispiness to it. So this is how it should look right here, guys. And that's going to go in the oven uncovered 350 for about 50 minutes. Alrighty, guys. So we have our ribs and our chicken in the oven. We're going to go ahead and put together our nice sausage rolls right here. Got me some nice Pillsbury croissants. And I got my bacon sheet sprayed and lined with a little parchment paper. And what I'm going to do is get these crescents kind of laid out. There's eight of these inside of each roll. So I'm going to go ahead and get those separated, rolled out. Then I'm just going to take my Johnsonville bratwurst right here. And what I'm going to do is just run my knife up the back of it, loosen this casing, split this casing, I should say. Alright, so I'm just going to split this casing up the back of this sauces like this now if you like you could use just a regular ground sausage like i did without the casings i did that the last time but this time these johnsonville were on sale buy one get one free so i did not pass that up guys i rather just take these casings off myself just like this And I'm just going to break the sausage in half. Then we're going to put it in here on the long end. And then all I'm going to do is just roll that up. Alright, you can see how nice and easy that was. Just roll this one up also. And we're just going to repeat that process until we get all eight of these done. Not going to be doing too much of these because it's just going to be a little Super Bowl dinner for me and my cousin. So you can see I have my eight sausage rolls right here. Normally I would put an egg wash on these, but I didn't feel like doing an egg wash, so I'm just... I just sprayed it with a little bit more of the bacon spray. Put it in the oven 350 for about 25 minutes. And guys, this is how everything looks after it came out of the oven. I got my ribs here. I got my cherry glaze chicken wings. I have videos for all of these already. See, all of this looks good, nice, and tender. And this is a sausage roll, and this is a honey mustard sauce. I bought that, that sweet baby raised honey, honey uh, sweet baby raised honey mustard dipping sauce. You see, these sausage rolls look pretty good. And I have me some deviled eggs with a little paprika, a little parsley over the top I didn't do a video for that but I do have a video already and this is my cousin's plate right here guys you can see he got the works shrimp fried rice I do have a full video for the rice so stay tuned for that and he got the egg half some ribs some chicken wings some sausage rolls and I did end up doing a little bit more a couple more barbecue chicken for him also. 
Alrighty guys, so that is it.